Hey everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to my new series, Names for Animals and Their Meanings. So today is all about dog names and I asked my viewers to send in their dog's name, but I also asked them to send in a picture of their little furry friend. This series will still be all about name inspiration, but given in a fun and different way. But if you haven't already subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future uploads. I'm always uploading name videos every single week and then go check me out over on my Instagram. I have a ton of name content on there as well. So let's get into this a massive list of over probably a hundred dog names inspired by your dogs. All right, so we are gonna start off with a sibling dog combo here. We have Davy Jones and Dolly Clementine. Davy Jones is a character in the Pirates of the Caribbean, but also in the group, the Monkees. He's a musician in it. And then Dolly is just so sweet. It's a vintage name and I love it paired with Clementine, Dolly Clementine. And Dolly means gift of God. Next pair here, we have brothers. We have Tux and Nash. I love this. So Tux is actually named Tux, I believe, because he has a white patch on his chest, which kind of makes him look like he's wearing a tuxedo. And then Nash, super sweet. Nash means from the ash tree or lives under the ash tree. And I really think the name together, Tux and Nash, such a cool sibling name combo. Moving on to our next little furry friend, we have Hank. Guys, Hank. I feel like Hank, he's like the life of the party. He means estate rulers. So obviously he rules the home and you know, he's like partying during the day, cool and calm and collective at night. <laughs> All right, so we have another pair here. We have brothers and I feel like everybody has like two or more dogs, I swear. First one here, handsome as ever. We have Mr. Phoenix Oliver. Phoenix Oliver literally means mythical bird of the olive tree. And I feel like he has this mythical aspect to him. And then we have his little brother, Maximus James. Yes, small frame, but a big heart. And Maximus James together means the greatest follower. So again, so much power. It's such a cute little tiny body. Next name here, I have the name Bentley. And Bentley is a border collie. This is just such a beautiful, he's so sweet looking. I love his tongue. <laughs> like every single picture is like tongue, tongue. He's like, He's just posing up. The name Bentley means meadow of coarse grass or tall grass. And I can honestly just see him and just border collies in general just love to roam. They love to be outside. They're super high energy. This totally suits him, little Bentley. I love full names given to dogs. Moving on to our next submission here, I have Hershey. Hershey, she's like a little chihuahua, I believe. Obviously there is a chocolate bar, but Hershey, her means girl and she means Means girl as well so they decided Hershey because it just represents that feminine power I swear so adorable she's so sweet and she looks so soft and cuddly I have to say for this next one I believe that it's a Pomeranian and I was so debating on getting a Pomeranian for myself because I just think of Jif Pom but we have Misha and Misha means who is like God I feel like for a little dog I think these powerful names with such like power behind them who is like God for a little body and I think she's just so sweet Misha what a gorgeous name for a gorgeous little girl. Okay, so for our next couple men here next, I am gonna refrain from dying laughing. So we have Mr. Wally Roo over here. He looks like a ball of energy, this goofy dog. And eventually they realize that Wally Roo, Wallaroo, is actually a type of kangaroo that just is like obviously bouncy, happy, go lucky, playful in Australia. So he, they find this name even suits him even more. He's just going crazy with all of his little moves here. He's going yeah. It's like he has different personalities and I love it. Another one here with a little bit more sophistication. We have Mr. Micah. <laughs> Guys, Micah, look at his shirt. He's wearing a plaid shirt. I seriously, I love this one. It's probably one of my favorites because you think Micah, you close your eyes, you think Micah, you think of this sweet little boy. Guys, this is perfect. This suits him so perfectly. Look at his face. And the meaning of Micah is who is like the Lord. <laughs> Next one here on the list, we have Poe Noodle Brandenburg. 
His name is Poe Noodle. I feel like it suits him so well. Poe was actually just supposed to be his name and Poe's actually from Kung Fu Panda and he loved eating noodles. So they named him Poe Noodle and then it's basically like Poe Noodle, the golden doodle. So it just stuck and Honestly, his face tells it all. I think he just looks like a big old noodle. Now, some really cool new names here. So we have Mr. Olaf Stark. And Olaf, I feel like this is a total Disney inspiration name because Olaf is obviously from Frozen. And then Stark is actually two different things. It's from Game of Thrones. And then it's also um, Tony Stark, like Iron Man, the Marvel comics. And then we have his brother, Casper, the friendly dog. How creative is this? Love it. I think this is so fun for two really fun combos. I love it. Next year here, we have some brothers, some nature inspired brothers too. So we have Forest. So sweet. Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness. The coloring, the crimped ears. So sweet. And then we have his brother Finn. And Finn means white or fair. And Finn, I feel like they both have these sweet little eyes. Oh my gosh. I, I just can't with them right now. Such an amazing combo. So trendy. Definitely trendy. Okay, so we have a female dog here next. We have Miss Safira Sunflower. As soon as I saw this name combination, I hit the floor. It was beautiful. The name Safira means blue relating to the sapphire gemstone. And then Sunflower is obviously this beautiful floral name. She totally looks like a Safira with those bright blue eyes. Just in nature, Safira Sunflower. I have the name Yara here next. Yara means butterfly. So really cool. Again, another nature animal inspiration name. Honestly, I am loving her smile. It's like she has her little teeth out and she just looks so cuddly. I'm loving the Santa hat. <laughs> Moving back over to the male side, I have the name Barley Walker. Mr. Barley Walker, both Barley and Walker are actually occupational names. I totally can see this as almost like a farm dog-ish in a way too, Barley. He looks like he's a city man. I love how this dog has a middle name, Walker, Barley Walker. This next girl, this is a true animal lover and the names are just beyond. So we have Kirky and this is derived from the name Albuquerque, which is I believe where he was born and where they got him from. What a handsome man. Then his brother's name is Yuno. And Yuno is actually a Japanese name, meaning a bunch of different things, really great traits. It means reason, courage, and also help of God, along with quite a few others, depending on what kanji you use. These guys are just so gorgeous. And trust me, it doesn't stop there. We also have their sister, Ira, and Ira means snow. She absolutely looks like she loves the snow. And this name is just so suiting. Another sister of theirs is Tia, and Tia was actually named by her godmother and that's actually the name of a pirate princess I believe in a show or a comic book and then lastly we have Mr. Hunter and Hunter looks like he loves to sniff around hunt around oh I love the name Hunter boy or girl what oh just an amazing bunch here next dog here the male that was sent in is the name Hemi and he he looks like a Hemi. Hemi is relating to like a car, like the engine, a Hemi. Oh, he looks like full of power, completely full of power. Then we have Oliver and Oliver means olive tree. I love the coloring of him. He's a little dash hound. Oh, this would be like my dream dash hound. He looks like I would have the time of my life with him all day long. All right, so we're totally switching things up here because these two are show dogs and they compete. Really cool, so we have a boy and a girl. So the female's name is Riot Stormy Nova. She goes by Stormy when she's playing and not in competitions, but they derived Riot from her father's name. Her father's name was Reckitt, so they named her Riot Stormy Nova. And then her brother is Zeppelin Dax. So Zeppi Dax, Dax was actually taken from his championship cousin's name. So it's kind of like a name carried on in the family. And Zeppelin means airship. So that could be a sense and symbolism of power. Next name on the list here is musically inspired. We have Sid Vicious or full name Sydney Vicious. And that is inspired by the Sex Pistols bassist, which is a rock band. Can you picture this little man as Sid Vicious? He looks a little bit mischievous, so. 
Possibly. <laughs> now we have a sibling trio here. We have Bindi. Bindi means butterfly. Those eyes. We also have Remy. And Remy means oarsman. And then we have Mr. Little River. I feel like River is probably the dominant one out of all three of them. He has those old man eyelashes, you know? Old man ones that are like... Now time to introduce Miss Mia Sophia. Mia Sophia actually means my wisdom. Love her jacket. She looks so pish posh applesauce. This is exactly the way I sometimes dress Nala. I'm totally with you on this. Next one here, totally suits the dog. We have Caesar. And Caesar means long haired, but I think this is totally exactly when I close my eyes and I think about Caesar, other than the dog whisperer Caesar, I think about him. Okay, so we have another dog family here. I think they have six dogs. So we have Cory, and Cory means lamb. We also have Griffin, which means strong lord. Then we have Mr. Tyson, and Tyson means firebrand. Honestly, Tyson, this, he's like, it totally works for him. We have Miss Virgin Islands, the nickname is V. Her actual full name, I believe she's a rescue, and her full name was Virgin Islands, so they just call her V. What a cool name. Then the last two part of their family, we have Coco Puff, with that brown, chocolatey brown mixed with black stripes. Oh, then we have Miss Foxy Mama, who is just strutting her stuff. Suits so well for their personalities, and I don't even know them. You did such an amazing job, and I'm very excited to see what your future dog's name or name because I already know that you probably have maybe two, three, even four more now. Another dog family here, you guys. These names are just as amazing as the previous ones. All right, so we have Tazzy. Tazzy is named after the Tasmanian devil. It looks identical. It's perfect. Then we have Coda, and Coda actually means friend. I love the name Coda. We also have Hudson, and Hudson means son of the intellectual one. He looks like the homeward bound dog, and I love Homeward Homeward Bound. This one made my childhood heart sing. Then their last brother here is Ryder. And Ryder means cavalryman and messenger rider. We have another Storm here. Storm, his face, I couldn't keep him off the list. Look at Storm, look at his face. He is ready to play. He looks just like a ball of energy. Exactly what the sky looks like when there's a storm. A ball of energy. Now onto a more serious note here, we have Rooney. Look at his little face. He looks so serious. Rooney means descendant of the champion. He looks like he's the champion of the house. He looks like he's the ruler of the house. He's looking at that door, seeing if the doorbell's gonna ring, the door's gonna knock. He's waiting. <laughs> Moving on to our next two here. These names are super unique. So we have Cutie Sage, literally meaning cute little herb. Again, any white dog like this, so scruffy. Look at those eyes. Yes. You have me, I'll cuddle you day and night. And then Cutie's brother's name is Efi Sir Scottsworth. All right, when you have Sir in your name, especially for a dog, you better watch out. And I was actually wondering what Efi means. It's spelled E-F-V, super unique. It actually directly means dog. So the name is Dog Sir Scottsworth. Next male name here, this is such a great combo. I think it sounds so sweet. It's Justice Bodine. And the meaning behind Justice Bodine means bringer of good news and justice. I love this combination. Oh my goodness, inspiration for me. Thank you. We're back over onto the female side. I have the name Nanook Ursa. So Nanook Ursa together means a little female master of bears. Honestly, she looks like a little bear as a little puppy and grown up with the little snow in the nose. Another black dog here, but on the boy side, we have Berenstein. It totally reminds me of my childhood. Berenstein bears, they loved the name Baron when they rescued him, but they pulled it all together and did Berenstein. He looks like a Berenstein bear, literally. This next meaning here for this dog name, I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. So the name is Snickers Flash. Literally, the name means laughing in a flash. They probably got Snickers from the chocolate bar. So he's probably a very playful, definitely playful dog. He just seems so chill. Like, I'm gonna chill here in the grass, mom. You can do your own thing. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I couldn't leave him behind. His name's Remy. Like, he looks 
so amazing with his hair. I love him. He looks so unique. I bet you get so many people coming up to you and being like, oh, can I pet your dog? Because my brother, he loves, he loves these, loves them. This next one here is again, another longer with a sir in it. We have Sir Winston of Evanston, very regal sounding man. And the meaning behind this one actually means the Lord is gracious for this wine's town. I am liking the Sir Winston, Sir Scottsworth. Now for a little bit more of a nature style name, we have Oakley May. And Oakley May actually has a very pretty meaning. Pearl in the meadow of the oak tree. So very beautiful for a beautiful dog. I feel like a lot of parents out there listening are probably writing it down on their baby name list. Switching it up for something super fun, we have Delcy Do or Die. And this is actually on the AKC registration form. Delcy actually means sweet and then we have do or die. I love um, actual registered names of dogs. If you really go to the reports and everything and you ask what the dog's real name is or the parents, it's not just one or two names. We normally have about four, five, six, or seven names put all together. It's just the wow factor. Sibling pairing here, I was just, <gasps> You caught my breath. So we have Tain. Tain is actually the Polynesian god of forest and light. And then his sister's name is Terra. And Terra is the Roman earth goddess. So we have a god and goddess name combination for dogs, even for children. This is so Tain and Terra. Oh, and they're both beagles, like, oh, my heart. Next one here is also another really creative and fun one on the list. It's one in a million. Yes, I said one in a million. I believe he's also a show dog or like a competition dog, but he goes by one and it's a boxer. I love that. That's just a perfect boxer name. Our next beautiful dog here is kind of a little bit of a tribute because she actually did pass away um, a few years ago, but just still remains in the family, like her spirit. Her name is Canela, which is Spanish for cinnamon. So I was very, very happy and kind of honored to include her in this list. Moving on onto another one of those suspicious dogs. We have Gamble, and it's actually Gamble Harrison. I think Gamble for a actual baby or child's name is so cool, but I think her husband didn't agree, so they chose it for her dog, which a lot of the times when a partner or someone else doesn't agree with the name, it normally goes on the pet list, because it's like, okay, I can still name my pet this name. This one is so sweet, and it suits the dog so well. We have Otto McCoy. Little Otto McCoy, look at his face. And the meaning behind Otto McCoy is the wealthy, prosperous, little fiery one. Both Otto and McCoy are both vintage names that are coming back. So this is a great idea. This is a great option for someone. We obviously can't go through this list without a beautiful name here. We have Aura. Aura with her cute little red jacket. We have jackets all over here. And and aura means soft breeze, but it also means positive energy and positive omen surrounding this little precious being and this little dog. Next two names here, we have siblings, big dog siblings. We have Tiller Bell. It kind of reminds me of Tinker Bell. I feel like maybe she got that, some inspiration from there, Tiller Bell. And as for her brother's name, it's Kaiser Paul. And Kaiser Paul, actually the meaning behind it means little emperor. What a great meaning. I loved finding that. I was like, oh, perfect. I loved this Tiller Bell and Kaiser Paul. Next photo just cracks me up. I can't even look at it right now because I'll just die laughing. His name is Bear. <laughs> look at him. He looks like a bear. I have another storm here. This is Luna Storm. <gasps> Luna, look at her face. She just looks like, my name's Luna Storm. Like Luna makes it so soft, but you can tell that there's that storm, there's that rumble inside of her, but she seems so docile, so friendly, so gentle. And her name directly means moon of the storm. And then we have Topher, which was taken from Christopher. This is another name that I've actually been seeing here and there rising as like a modern honorary name for Chris. Christopher. I love this for him. I think it works perfectly. I have the name Kova Violet. Such a gorgeous name, Kova Violet. And it has really great characteristic traits behind the meaning. It means strong and modest. Next one here is so fun. It's like a human name for sure, but it has a Southern charm to it. It's Charlie Ray. Doesn't that sound like a little Southern charm bell? And it's so sweet because there's a before picture of Charlie Ray 
and then in the same spot older Charlie Ray like how cute is when you take a picture of your puppy dog in the same area with the same scene next dog here coolest name we have Sailor Frida with the little kerchief little pink she's just like mm, I got myself all done up here and Sailor Frida means peaceful sailor next one here totally unique option it's Mazikeen Mazikeen, nickname Queenie. This is such a cool name. I've never heard this before this video. I saw it, I was like, oh, I fell in love. But I love the vintage appeal to it as well with Queen. Next three here, I feel like they're celebrity dog status names. So we have Tucker Sky Blue. Yes, originally he was gonna possibly be named Sky, but they did Tucker Sky Blue. We have Tucker's sister's name, Ruby Rose Blue. And then we have their cousin, Sugar Blossom White. And this is what I call dog celebrity status. We have siblings again, and they look like they are best friends. We have Lissy Elaine, and the meaning behind Lissy Elaine is bright, shining bumblebee. And then we have Leon James, and Leon James actually means a lion who supplants and protects. Now switching it up, this is gorgeous. So this is a goddess name. We have Artemis Diane and she is a red rust Doberman. How just she looks like a queen and the meaning behind her name completely to a T describes what she looks like. Divine goddess of the hunt, wilderness animals, childbirth and the moon. That's Artemis Diane and that's exactly who she is. Then we have Margot June. The meaning of the name is so cool. So Margot means pearl and June's birthstone is pearl. So this works so well. You have again these vintage vibes. Davian's one of Davian's favorites on the list. Next we have Olive Bean and Tallulah. Now the little one's name is Olive Bean and Olive Bean's actually Tallulah's mother. I believe that's what she said. What? How did that happen? And now we have another dolly on the list, means gift of God. I couldn't handle the jacket. I, she looks like a dolly. Those little smaller poodle like with the curly hair, oh, 100%. This is a dolly. Next, we have Rocky. Now, Rocky looks like a Rocky. This is exactly what I picture a Rocky dog when I close my eyes, and Rocky means rest, but honestly, I really highly doubt that Rocky rests. Rocky is hype, I bet, a hundred bucks. He just looks like such a fun family dog. Oh, full of trendy names, we have Arlo Lincoln. And Arlo Lincoln actually means free man of the town by the pool. I love that combination together. All right, so we're getting down to our very final few names here. Next we have Mr. Nixon. I love the name Nixon. I've always loved it. I think it's so cool. It means people of victory, lots of power behind him. Sibling names here next, we have Rain. So Rain, spelt this way, could either mean rain, like the weather, but it also means queen and Lana means rock or beautiful so they both have nature elements to them but they have that feminine power behind it as well now next name here is Jeter and Jeter was actually named after the softball Yankee superstar Derek Jeter I honestly love this one this name was actually part of my celebrity baby names list because i just was so obsessed with it this is such a handsome name now we have quincy now quincy is actually a girl and she specifically wanted to name her kind of like a tomboy name and she loves quincy for a girl i think this is so cool it kind of opens up your eyes to new unisex genderless name opportunities and quincy actually means a state of the fifth son we have more dog siblings here so next is coda balto now now Coda means friend and Balto is actually a name derived from a show and the show is about a husky I believe in Alaska and that husky's name was Balto so Coda Balto that is so cool I've never heard of Balto before and then Coda Balto's sibling is Cubby Bear K-U-B-B-Y Cubby Bear looks like a little bear a ball of fuzz that you just want to cuddle into last two names here we have Ollie and I love the spelling here O-L-I that's a really great alternative to like O-L-L-Y or O-L-L-I-E and Ollie means olive tree and then last name on the list here super cool is Fillion James 
Now, Philly Inn, they actually have a little story behind it. So it's named after a brewery in a small town in Belgium where they first met. And then James means supplanter or one who follows. So Philly and James. I absolutely love when parents sometimes bring in those symbolisms of like maybe where they first met or a name from where they had a honeymoon for both their children, but also their dogs as well. Cause obviously we are all family and they are all a family. And I love how they have those special meanings behind them. But that is it with the list today. I hope you guys enjoyed these dog names. Got you guys some inspiration for both baby names, but also your dog or pet names as well. I think I think they were so cute and all of the pictures I was just thank you so much for sending them in honestly it made my day I was giggling like no other and it was just so fun obviously submit your own dog's names if I didn't mention it in the list please we would love to hear them but also give me some other dog name topics that you guys would love for me to cover thank you guys so much for watching take care and I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys next time with another pet names list bye Questi bei panachini, quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma.